Wow, that's really close up. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Look at all my pores and zits. Look at that good old friend. Look at my eye. Wow. This is cl <laughs> Hey, you guys. Um, so I've been really enjoying videos from Danny Kai Cayero, Cayero, uh, I don't know, Danny Cimarelli that got married. And um, Megan McCollum, she does like mukbangs, but then she does a lot of like other like random vlog videos. But I've been really enjoying people like that who really organically show their personality and talk about things that they care about while still being really entertaining. And I think that one of the things that I've really failed at in my YouTube life has been being really authentic with you guys in the sense of showing you more than just like a sit down video because I don't actually script my videos typically I just kind of like know what I'm going to talk about and sit down and do it and it takes a lot of editing so it's not like completely fake but it's definitely you only see like a little glimpse of me so I wanted to shoot a couple vlog like videos just to show the people who are interested more about my authentic life and um, people who don't know me and who are not interested in me, the life of a freelance producer and content creator. So I make all of my money <laughs> right now, which is not a ton, so I have to figure that out. But I make all of my money right now from YouTube, Patreon, and then freelance odd jobs, producing demos for people, writing songs, and um, making like theme songs, like doing a bunch of random things. Full, full disclosure, December was a really bad month for that. I got like no money in December. It was not a good time for me. Um, but November was like, November was a fantastic month. So I'm hoping that January things will start rolling in again. But if not, I'm gonna just maybe get a part-time job thing is I don't have a car right now and so like my whole cycle of life right now that's really problematic for me is that I need money to get a car but I can't get a job for the most part unless I have a car and so it's like this whole thing that's really stressing me out it's really weighed on my mental health because I need like a lot of alone time to be a functional human being and a car has been my safe space for the last several years just being able to do whatever I want whenever I want I would write all of my songs in my car I would just like sit alone and like have my good good cry my my annual good cry I would have in my car so that's been a really really hard thing for me but I've been trying to find the silver lining in that and just kind of think about why that's happening and what the bright sides to that situation is so obviously I am look like this hi and I'm just going to carry you along as I get ready and work on some stuff and hopefully my autofocus works also I have my coldest water guys yes, this has actually been so great the coldest water has really blessed my life recently it's like such a sustainable water bottle like if you are using cups that you wash every day you ain't living the good life you gotta get a water bottle that you can use every single day and it just encourages you to drink more it's just like a great time but yes this is my apartment I moved into this apartment in late August with my best friend We've known each other since we were in kindergarten, but we kind of fell out of being good friends in high school and then fell back into being good friends while we lived thousands of miles away from each other. I was in Tennessee, she was in Boston in our freshman year of college. She's also a songwriter. I will link her stuff below. I produce her music because she doesn't have a lot of um, contacts right now. She's been living in Boston. I didn't know a lot of people who were doing music, so. Look at us. Isn't that so cute? Oh my goodness. Um, today what I have to do is... Wow, this autofocus is like really not doing it for me. Today I have to do is film, upload, read, playlist, Christmas tree, apply, sweatshirt. Okay. 
Um, Christmas tree, I need to put that Christmas tree away. That's what I was talking about when I said that. By the way, here's my fish, Zuri. Here, let me get a light, better light on. I feel like fucking Alfie days right now. This is my fish, she's like a tiny, tiny baby. She's really small, she's my everything. I love her so much. Um, I don't know how to get a good shot of her though, so let's go get ready for the day. I can show you guys my really, really brief makeup routine for daily life while I talk to you about this playlist idea I have because I'm a multitasker. So I've gone back into reading for the first time in a really long time and I'm actually reading like exclusively nonfiction. but the first thing that broke my not reading streak was <laughs> this like 700 page book about the Bible and how the Bible was formed and how different um, manuscripts were found in different ages and like all the disputes about heresy and the disputes about what books were actually supposed to be in the Bible and then logical arguments in support of the idea that the Bible is the word of God and like spirit breathed. I found that book to be like very interesting just talking about the historicity and canonicity of scripture. If you guys know any like commentaries or like lexicons that are written by progressive or like neo-orthodox Christians aka they don't believe that the Bible is like inherently from God. They believe it's just like people writing something that's vaguely inspired by the idea of God but isn't word for word what God says. I would love to understand that perspective better. Then I read a super interesting book called The Theater of War, which I ran into when I was doing research for my melodrama Lord video, where I talked about how melodrama is an ancient Greek tragedy. You guys should seriously read it. It's about this person. He makes this theater company where he performs ancient Greek tragedies like Ajax, he does Prometheus, and he does uh, a couple other Sophocles plays for veterans and for people who have terrible PTSD but it just talks about like the value of tragedy and all the important questions that tragedy brings up like is fate a constant? Can we change fate? Can people actually have fatal flaws that they're unable to fix about themselves? Like it's I don't know, maybe this sounds really boring to you, but it's extremely interesting to me. Okay, I'm going to do my makeup now. I got this palette that I got for um, $4.99 at um, Marshalls, and it's like served me well, so I like to do makeup from that. Um, I also have this Naked Basics palette that I've had for 10 years. I'm not afraid of what's in the coronavirus vaccine. And that's how I do my brows recently, which is like kind of sad, like I need to get another dip brow, but. Okay, so here's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. A little while ago, I made a video, oh damn. <laughs> a little while ago, I made a video um, where I talked about my favorite songs of all time and made a playlist. And that playlist has like 150 followers, which is kind of cool actually. And so I was thinking, I have done my time in paying to get on popular playlists the way that a lot of people get streams on their music is they either get accepted to a playlist or they find playlists, request to be on them and have to pay 50 to like 150, 200, 300 dollars to get on these playlists that have several thousand followers and so their music can be in this rotation where it's heard more often and that's how people get discovered and how people's music does well. So I was thinking, I really wanna do a thing where I make a playlist and, and put people who have like under a thousand streams, like super shout into the void artists on this playlist. And so people can find each other's music. And even if it's not like, oh, you put your stuff on this playlist and then you'll get like 10,000 streams on it. It's like you find a fan base of people who actually care about your music and then you can connect with those people and write with them like slowly grow your musical community based on people who actually listen to your music that found your music on the playlist that I'm making and what I would do because I need to eat what I would do is I would charge $15 to be on the playlist which as I said I've paid like $200 to be on playlists before like it's a People pay a lot of money to do advertising and to be on playlists, but for $15, 
you would be in this rotation of very small shout into the void artists and so you could discover new people and you could be discovered by people and it could just be this whole musical community based on my audience and all the cool people that like hang around these parts of the internet. I'm gonna start doing that and advertising that but I just wanted to like talk to you guys about it first. So I usually put like this color on my eyelid. Like I don't go anywhere ever so like I really just do makeup for videos and to like feel better about myself. These wings are not the same. Yeah, um, they're like kind of different. I might be interested in doing a fun thing called wearing lipstick today. I look like a soft boiled egg. Also, here's the book that I'm gonna start reading today. It's called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Um, I think that my dad recommended it to me a while ago and then I never read it but then I saw it at my aunt's house and borrowed it from my aunt's house. I've never really read like a self-help kind of book but I definitely need to read more books <laughs> that are about like how to reframe my mindset about things because that's really necessary in my life right now. Um, so here's the fantastic part called Outfit Switch, The Magic of Editing. From this Voila! This is my outfit. This sweater that has these like ties on the side. Black pants. <laughs> it's such a boring shot. This entire outfit is from Goodwill. Um, even my bra is from my sister and my underwear some girl gave me as a Christmas present in eighth grade. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this color for a shirt. My hair sucks right now. But I'm actually gonna be bleaching it and dyeing it entirely one tone of lavender um, in two days. I've been wanting to do that for a really long time and my hair is just so many colors right now. Like it's grown out bleach, it's like grown out purple, it's grown out like all different shades of blonde, like it's nasty. I'm ready to have just an even base so that even when the purple goes out, then I'll still have like toned blonde hair that I can work with. Now it's time for me to go start working on a production project that I'm doing for someone so let me show you how I do that. So this is the desk that I um, film videos at. Uh, it's not a lot and I also film right here in front of this beautiful couch that we have. That's our beautiful plant as well. Kelsey also does her makeup right here sometimes so I'm just gonna like move that stuff out of the way. That's my mic that I use. It's Audio Technica. That's my MIDI keyboard and my Scarlett Focusrite, that's an interface. So yeah, I'm just gonna like get set up for a second. It is about 12.30 right now. Shaky, shaky baby. I shake all the time and it's like not even when I'm nervous, it's just like all the time. So here's how I started a project. I was sent this voice memo. Beat it on the telephone, word. I switch you on your phone. Yeah, I miss you, but I don't think we should talk anymore. I have my MIDI keyboard plugged in. This is a Akai Mini. It's like $90. Super worth it because you can bring it anywhere. Open up the session. A thing that I feel shitty about as a producer or as like a music educator in some sense of the word is I can't actually explain to people all of my process because I play things by ear. And I can figure out keys if I want to, but like, that's not how I do things. So what I do is I listen to, but it's beat it on a telephone wire. Um, first of all, I don't even know how I want, I, I don't know. It's like this song could be going so many directions, but I kind of want to do it kind of like, but beat it on a telephone wire. Dun, 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 dun. At least get a start on something, you know? Or like a, oh wait, 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 like a pluck. I hate the delay on that. 
What's the tempo? But beat it on the telephone wire. Selling your cards, ties, leaving the driveway. And then what I do is I go, I quantize this. What do I hear? I actually might have like a, maybe like a, Kalimba. Ooh, I like this. See, that was the wrong note, but what I like to do, instead of going back and replaying it seven times, I just like to manually fix it, so. Actually, I hate that. Okay, again, if there's a freaking delay on this, I will kill someone. Okay, there's no delay on this. But I still, I don't know, it's like a lot right now. I have like not a ton of direction on this song already because I forget what it's supposed to sound like, so. I hear like a miss you springtime. Um, I'm trying to figure out what percussion I would do to this. Mm. I would do like actually like a real guitar, but I don't have a guitar on me right now. Oh my gosh. So this guitar sucks, but this is just a placeholder. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do a friggin' muted bass, I don't care. Sometimes what I like to do, even just as a placeholder, is do an FM piano and do like... Yeah, that sucks, but it's a placeholder. Um, I'm also going to add an ARP, I always add an analog ARP, classic analog ARP. I actually like 1970s analog ARP with Alchemy, so you can click on it and you can make it just like... Okay, then if I'm gonna add some percussion at least, I might do like a Silver Lake. I like Silver Lake.
yeah, so this sucks right now, but that's how it has to be. Sorry. That's what happens when you produce anything in the beginning. It always sucks. My face looks blurry. But I will show you guys really quickly something that I have been working on. Um, I wrote like a Borns song basically called Amethyst. It's very Borns inspired. It's still super rough right now. It's like really bad right now, but um, I'm gonna fix it, so. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed just watching like the beginning of my day. Um, I just gotta do a bunch of stuff today. I hope you enjoyed just like the bare minimum beginning of my morning and hopefully the rest of my day is productive. Also, if you have not watched Pixar's Soul yet, it is literally the most awe-inspiring, beautiful, ins soul-inspiring movie. I've ever seen in my life. It's so good. You should certainly watch it. Check out the coldest water in the description. Um, email me if you want me to make a demo for you. Check out my original music and email me if you're interested in getting on this playlist. Have a good one. <laughs>